measure out 100 milliliters of water. Place the 100 milliliters of water in one beaker. Repeat three times. If you go over, that's okay. Just make sure you have 100 milliliters. In measuring, make sure you use a graduated cylinder and not the marks on the beaker. The marks on the beaker are only approximates. Measure the temperature of water in each beaker. Since we took it from a common source, the water should be the same for all of the beakers. measure the temperature of the water. And we can see from here it is, what is it? It is 25 degrees Celsius. Now take one Alka-Seltzer tablet, crack it, and put it in the beaker. You'll notice it begins to fizz. This is a chemical reaction. Now we gotta see what effect this will have on the temperature of the water. Make sure the tablet is thoroughly dissolved before you measure the temperature again. Don't use the thermometer to disturb. You don't want to break the thermometer. Once all the bubbling has stopped, measure the temperature of the water. Let it sit in there for a minute to make sure you get the full temperature. Repeat the experiment with the first cup, one tablet, second cup, two tablets, third cup, three tablets, fourth cup, four tablets. Record your data in the table provided. Temperature of water, no tablets. Temperature of the water, one tablet two tablet, three, and four. Here is a sample of what others got in the lab. Record the data in the chart. Plot out the data on the graph. 